I'm going to give, give, I'm I'm give, give, give uh, I'm too close to you. Sorry. Let <laughs> 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 me give you a little history yes, guy on this one. Who all is on your personnel committee here, uh, Justice Ash? Clay, Hitler, Norvell. Norvell, and Nelson. They're on the front row. Cool. Okay. Um, I talked to Kelly today because I wanted to get my exact wording on this, how they're doing it. Right now, the people are turning in their timesheets on Wednesday. Then they have Thursday, Friday, Saturday that is still on that payroll to work. So they're having to put down days that they are supposed to work, but may not work for some odd reason. They may be sick, something might come up, you don't know. That way they can get the payroll ready on Monday and it's deposited on Tuesday. What we would like to see happen is we would like to have a one-time moving of the payday. It would move from Tuesday to Friday of the same week. Uh, I was going to suggest that we look at giving them two months, which do it June the 1st is a normal payday, move that payday to Friday the 5th. As someone pointed out to me, a lot of people have a lot more of their bills coming out on the 1st. They schedule their car payments and stuff like that. So as I look at doing the one in the middle of the month, that's where we move it. So that it gives everybody time to reschedule stuff and get it done. So I asked Kelly, I said, okay, how will this work? She said, well, they'll just complete their time sheets on Monday for the previous week. They will turn them into us on Tuesday morning. On Wednesday, we will do start doing payroll. Money would be in the bank on Thursday, and on Friday it would be checked or direct deposited. Everybody was under the impression that they were going to get a short check. That's not the case. It is simply they will get their full check, but now they will fill their timesheet out on Monday after they've completed the pay period. That way they're not having to go back and make adjustments the next paycheck to cover that or anything that changed. And if somebody forgets to write something down, I wouldn't want to say anybody do it on purpose, but if somebody forgets to write something down that changed, it's not a problem. Uh, I would highly recommend that we look at doing this. The normal payday in June and the middle of the month would be the 15th. We would move it to Friday the 19th. That's a difference of three days. Did we not move the payroll or something just six months, a year ago? We did, because we were still doing exactly what we're doing now. They were filling out their time sheets, but they were getting paid on Friday and still had to work on Saturday. And the problem there was that the auditors wrote us up for it. Well, now we're not paying them until after the end of the pay period, but we still have people that are submitting their timesheets on Wednesday and getting paid for it on Tuesday. And if something happens Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, and they don't work, then they're getting paid for time that they did not work. Does that make sense? Uh, and all we're trying to do here is move it so that you work it first, you submit the timesheet, and then you get paid. And I'm sorry I was mistaken, the normal pay rate would be the 16th, which is a Tuesday, and we would pay on the 19th instead. Uh, this does not change any appropriations, it doesn't change any money. So that's $48. Difference and how long they get paid, yes. Basically, they're going from the 16th, well, the 17th, 18th, but as you know, if you have direct deposit, your check's in the bank at midnight Thursday night. Or mine always is. I don't know if everybody else works that way or not. 
But and a lot of times at five o'clock Friday when the bank closes, they go ahead and put it in there then. Hey Rick, mine at the paper it goes in Wednesday. We get paid Thursday, mine goes in Wednesday at nine AM or nine PM. Yes. So a lot of them do. That's that's what I'm saying. We're talking about basically moving the payday three days. Questions? Thoughts? I'll, I'll tell you this. I struggled with this at first, and I've, I've since learned more about it, and I've discussed it with several county employees. I've had several county employees call me about it, and I, I'll just tell you I wasn't exactly for it at first, but I, I am now after getting advice from other people and talking to other people. And anyway. Okay. And I think just the fact that it would prevent any mistakes in the future, because it's real easy to not work on Friday and then forget to change the timesheet next week. So. Yeah. Okay. Do I have a motion? And, no. say, and it's no. just the one time that it would be delayed. That's After it. that, it's going to go every 14 days. Paid every just, two weeks on Friday. And they're not, and then no check is going to be reduced whatsoever, correct? No. They should, not, they should have no reduction in pay because they're being paid for the full pay period that first check that they're doing. I think we need to give them a raise to compensation. So now are we going to go over them? I think we need to give them a raise because we're causing them inconvenience. Okay. Okay. Inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> that comes out of five. I know. I know. I'm not on five. That's my suggestion. <laughs> okay. Any other discussion? Questions? Do I have a motion? Yes, I'll make a motion that we. What, what, what do I need to say? Just, just, just the payday from Tuesdays to Friday. And just payday from Tuesdays to Friday. Beginning June 19th. 19th. That's what I thought. I made sure. Okay. You say All right, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Uh, that will be put forth. I, Jeremy, let me ask you this. Does that need to be a resolution or an ordinance? I'll do an ordinance. Probably an ordinance. Just, yeah. Well, okay. So we, but we have to read that three times because it's not an appropriation ordinance. Okay. Will it require change in the personnel policy handbook? The, the, I don't think they I don't know. Know. They don't know. Says what what they says what they they second the motion. Yeah. Bill. Bill. Thank you. He's quiet. Uh, I don't think the policy and procedure handbook says anything about when payday is. It says it'll be compensated every two If it does, we will look at I'll, I'll look that up this afternoon. If it does, we'll try to also get something in there. That would definitely change. require an ordinance. Yeah. Well, I think they changed it last time by resolution. Oh, didn't it? Yeah. There's, I've had a couple of people text me that you invited in on your Zoom deal and they, they don't have a passcode. It's not supposed to require one. All right, Connie set this one up and she's <laughs> going to show me again how to do it. I'm going to work on this so that we can have these meetings if we so desire by Zoom. Try one, two, three. Yeah, that's what I've had just you, you apparently sent out a kind of several people to okay. involved with the county, and uh, and I've had a couple so of them text Kelly me and, and I, the I, sheriff I, and the judge. Uh, I, I, don't remember, I know all of you should have gotten that right, and Martin Brassfield from the paper and Alan. Joseph. Joseph, he, he's got Alan on the plate, so I won't call him Alan. <laughs> Okay, so if, uh, can you draft us an ordinance? Yeah, that's what I have right now. Uh, and I guess we'll have to carry that to the next form coordinator. So I'm sure we'll be meeting because we're exempt, we have to meet. So uh, we'll look at doing that. But what I'm going to, I'd like for Kelly and them to put out and have a letter typed up send out to every employee telling them we're doing this it's going to happen instead of getting your check on june the 16th you will get it on june the 19th so that they've got 
from now to then to make any arrangements on the payments that might need to be switched or moved three days. Okay. Uh, do you have the business that we need to discuss with personnel? I'll mention this. I will tell you that uh, someone resolved it for us. We don't have to deal with it. Unless y'all want to make it something so that it has to be this way. Uh, we discussed the mileage pay at one of the finance Lines committee meetings. Meeting. The last one. I told Michael that we would take care of the personnel. I looked at the book. It says that we can pay them for work-related things. Uh, my understanding is that she has to declare an office. Well, this is the block, this is still the Blyville Courthouse. It's just located in Burdette. Mm -hmm. Her office is in Blyville. That's one office. They're both the same location as far as I'm concerned. So I didn't think we should be paying travel. She says she's not going to file for it anymore, so I think that settles it. To be honest, the finance department um, girls were just asking for clarification. And truly, that's all Leslie ever asked for. What do we want? Leslie Mason mm -hmm. uh, in circuit clerk, she, she just asked, tell me what to do. She said, I'll do whatever y'all want. Just please tell me what to do. And we just never, I just guess, I guess I thought we had it clarified, but I guess we didn't. And then Kelly asked, well, what do we do? And so there was just some confusion. I don't think anybody really cared which way it went. They just wanted to know what did we want them to do. They just wanted to know policy. And I'm going to ask the committee, do y'all agree with what I just said? I do. Their, I do. their courthouse and their office are both considered liable. We should not be paying mileage from liable to burn out. I understand liable to OCO is a different situation. We get paid to travel when we go to OCO out of liable. You get paid to travel to Blyville. So I think that sells it. I think that all we're doing is affirming that. So if the committee agrees with that, I'd like to see an eye from y'all and we'll leave it at that. Well, do you think we need a resolution statement? No, 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 I'm asking. Just, just an agreement. I agree. Okay. I agree. Okay. We have a majority agreement that that's the way it's going to be handled. I'll, I'll be the one to tell Leslie. I'll tell, I'll call her and tell her myself. There are no other business to come before personnel. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. We're adjourned. I think now we're supposed to have a.